Okay guys, let's talk. Now, Street Fighter 6 isn't even out yet, so why am I ranting now? Well, it's because that, well, DLC. Okay, when I think of DLC, I think of returning characters, guest characters, returning stages, or something like that. But today's topic is the year one DLC. Now, I could be controversial about this, about why am I complaining about a DLC year one that's not even out yet. Well, it's the characters. Now, the year one characters con um, consist of Akuma, uh, Rashid, Ed, and that one girl with the, with the long nails. I can't remember her name, but I'm not, I'm gonna be too lazy for me to look it up. But yeah. Uh, Rashid is coming back, and, I mean, he's probably a popular character, he's probably a popular, popular choice, but Akuma? I mean, look, I understand, returning, returning some classic characters is quite difficult, but I never knew how much of a, of a fan base Rashid had, along with Akuma. Akuma's design doesn't really convince me because, or interest me because I'm not the biggest Akuma fan, I mean... Ed, I can somewhat see. Ed is like a popular character. But Rashid? I mean, wasn't he a new character in Street Fighter V? I mean, I'm not I'm not judging. I mean, Capcom can do whatever they want. But like I was hoping for Rainbow Mika. I mean, you have all these classic characters from the Street Fighter line. And you chose Rashid. I mean, heck. He was already leaked on the roster back when Street Fighter VI was already, you know, um, being in development, I, I suppose. But, um, I don't recall Ed being on that leaked roster. I mean, he probably was, but I probably didn't even notice it. But, Akuma? I mean, again, I don't pay attention to this kind of stuff. I mean, surely I should, but I'm just too lazy and focus on other stuff to worry about leaks but yeah i mean i wanted to rant on some dlc stuff i mean making a good dlc that is hard not to say that the year one dlc is bad i'm not I'm, you guys can say whatever you want on that but um i wasn't expecting to see akuma return but i'm guessing it's going to be like a big routine where every street fighter game comes out akuma is going to be the one dlc that's going to return because Everyone likes Akuma. Well, not me. Because I prefer Jordy. If you can already tell, I'm a big Jordy fan. But, um... I can't imagine what his voice actor is. Because you gotta remember, getting a voice actor for a character can be pretty difficult. But I wouldn't be surprised if Rashid's voice actor came back. I mean, I, got, I mean, um, Rashid's new design is actually pretty cool. I kind of like it. <laughs> gives him that hip vibe um that was cringe i i apologize but anyway um ed i didn't expect ed to come back and again that one girl with the long nails what is her name i mean i'm guessing new new coming characters can be a dlc too i mean heck i did um i don't even know if if luke from street fighter 5 was an original character or a newcomer or a classic character after doing research, he actually is a new character. I didn't expect new characters to become DLC. I thought, D I thought like, when it comes to DLC, again, I think of guest characters, classic characters returning, and classic stages. But a new character? I didn't expect that either. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to come onto my channel and just rant for a couple of minutes and just say, Wow, this... This year one DLC is going to be great. Well, we can all judge. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you, what you, what your opinions are 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 on year one DLC. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.